News tonight, we are getting new reaction from the CMS superintendent about a racist Snapchat message. That message reportedly created by an Ardry Kell High School basketball player about the opposing team, West Charlotte High School. Tonight, those two teams squaring off Advance High School. You can see in this video a packed house for that playoff game. The player who posted that Snapchat, not on the court, kicked off the team indefinitely. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton live tonight outside Advance High School. Xavier. Fred, there was Fred, there was a lot of controversy surrounding this game, including where it was played here at Vance High School, originally supposed to be played at West Charlotte High School. Now, fans before going in, they could see a line from there all the way to here wrapping around the building, and they were fired up before they got inside. Basketball is just a game, but it meant so much more on Tuesday night. Every game for us is exciting, but this one here means more than basketball. A racial remark allegedly made by an Ardry Kell player was initially supposed to last for seconds on Snapchat, but now it's something that will never be forgotten. NBC Charlotte is not naming the player because he's a minor and he has not been charged with anything. The player, though, used a racial slur and then said he was going in the hood. CMS is stern on their stance regarding the Snapchat post. We don't, we don't, as a school system, suffer what went on. We, we're better than that, and I wanted to be here to be a part of it. Uh, I didn't think we used that type of language in 2019, and so uh, as an elected official, I want to make sure that I broke a dialogue that we can remove that type of behavior. Racial or ethnic comments. Sportsmanship, a top priority as fans from both West Charlotte and Audrey Kell High Schools packed the gym. Hundreds were turned away. The gym was at capacity. Players on separate teams now forced to fight the same battle. So all we do is come together, don't let the outside affect us. Everybody on the team is their brother to me. So when you see something like this, it hurts you. These last couple of days have brought us closer together as a team, as a, as a community. Unlike the jerseys both teams were wearing, not everything is black and white. In the end, West Charlotte won. Nonetheless, both coaches were left answering questions about something more important than a win or a loss. My first, my first instinct was, that's not true. That's not him. That's probably somebody just messing around. And they were like, you sure, coach? And they were a little upset. I was like, let's not get caught up in that. The young man made a mistake, which is not reflective of our program or our values of the athletic department or our program. So we just, we told them to stick together. Now here tonight, there were extra police on hand. It appears that it worked because there were no incidents report after the game or during the game as well. Reporting live, I'm Xavier Walton for NBC Charlotte. Xavier, thank you.